Well, the Honourable Member for Dawson. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I rise today to speak about the black spot funding program that has been axed under this government. Deputy Speaker, I'm sure that the Labor government realises the impact. Well, I'm not actually sure that they realise the impact of the, this decision to cut the funding for road safety and the effect that it has on my people, my people in the electorate of Dawson. So I'm here to help educate them. And it's plain and simple, really. Labor's decisions are endangering the lives of the people in my electorate of Dawson and others who live in rural and regional Australia. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I just sat back and let that happen. It is my duty to be their voice and to stand up and fight for their rights and for their safety. And you might think, hang on a second, surely the government wouldn't be putting the Australian public in danger. But let me put it to you this way. So far this year, according to the latest Queensland Road Crash Weekly report, Queensland has lost 190 lives on our roads. And statistically speaking, two thirds of all of those road fatalities occur in regional areas. In an article published just over a week ago in Mackay's local newspaper, they detailed 13 fatalities on the region's roads, and that's since the start of the year alone. Eight of those have occurred in the last eight weeks, and that is just one section of my electorate. For the past 27 years, every side of government has backed this crucial funding to black spot projects nationwide. And yet, for some reason, the Albanese Labor government has made the decision to strip away $69 million worth of funding, yeah. with nearly $10 million of that being re removed from vital projects of Queensland. And to add to this insanity, the Albanese Labor government announced these funding cuts in the same week as the report identified rural and regional areas as a major cause of fatalities. So what are, we what are they going to do with this money instead, I hear you ask? It's going towards funding projects like upgrades to the Gabba, a sporting facility. Once again, the Albanese Labor government has their priorities totally in the wrong areas. According to reports, motor vehicle accident accidents are the number one factor that's causing death and injury in the workplace. In a time of a Labor-created cost of living crisis, when families in rural and regional areas are struggling to make ends meet, and every dollar counts, the Labor government is now making something as simple as driving to and from work or driving for work a potential death trap. For the people of Dawson, our roads aren't a wish list item. They are a necessity. They are the arteries to the heart. We don't have trams and we don't have trains like the big cities. And for most people, our roads are the only way to work, the only way to see their family and the only way to, to access essential services like health. There are currently eight black spot projects that are yet to be completed in Dawson. And not one of these have been completed under the current Labor government. Anyone who's been to North Queensland would know the state of the Bruce Highway. Under the previous coalition, <coughs> there was coalition government funding and had been allocated towards improvement and repairs. But this funding had been sat on by the Queensland Labor government, and now the Albanese Labor government are intent on leaving identified black spot funding and hazards behind for the foreseeable future. My job is to fight for the rights of the people of Dawson. And let me tell you, Deputy Speaker, the people in rural and regional areas have the right to be safe on their roads, just like everybody else in the big cities. Yeah. By investing less funds in our regional areas, especially in areas that are heavily impacted by natural disasters, the standard only falls further behind. And this is unacceptable. On this issue, I am pleading with the Albanese Labor government to seriously reconsider their decision. I ask that they do the right thing, reinstate the funding so that our local councils of rural and regional areas can carry out the upgrades to our roads, so that identified black spots can be addressed, fixed and no longer be a constant threat to people's lives. Please reconsider the risks you are putting on the people of rural and regional areas like my people 
in the electorate of Dawson.